Leave Boris alone, yeah? He did well for us. Name me one thing he actually got wrong, you lefty communist twat. I'm not a lefty communist twat. And let's try and get through as many things as I can that he did wrong. Number one, lying in his newspaper job. Fwah! My dad's a policeman and my mum plays for Chelsea. Fwah! Print. Two, his hair. Got the most important job in the world. Is it okay if I have the hair of a clown cunt? No. Number three, sacked off as a politician for lying. Look on the side of this bus. My cock is nine inches long. It's a fact. Fwah! Number four, multiple affairs. I love you, darling. Just turn away for a second. Mwah, mwah. I'll touch the end of it while my wife's not looking. Number five, how many kids has he got? Oh, fwah, fwah. Oh, I actually felt that one fertilised. It's not mine. Good luck bringing it up on your own. Goodbye, whore. Number six, nearly got a British citizen killed in Iran by saying the wrong thing when he got off the plane. Fwah, I'm here to save the journalist. Uh, she's not a journalist. Uh, oh shit, keeper. Number seven, racist language. I'll call people letterboxes or watermelons. Is that appropriate? Yes, in the 17th century, your backwards tub of pork mints rolled in granny's pubes, twat cunt, goodbye. Number eight, saying that his Brexit deal was oven ready when it was raw and had salmonella licking and had saying his Brexit deal was oven ready when it was raw and had salmonella leaking out of its chicken bum hole. Number nine, this one's not so bad, but getting noshed off when he's in an office of state. That's it, don't ignore the shaft and balls. Don't just focus on the helmet. Number 10, trying to employ his mistress. Now that you've wanked me off, do you fancy a job as an office junior? Number 11, saying that investigating historical child abuse was spaffing money up the wall. Saving children? What a load of rubbish. I want to spend money on really important things like massive bridges with gardens on, or a giant jet bridge going across to Northern Ireland, or a moon station up my bum hole populated by squirrels. Number 12, the big one, having parties in his garden while we couldn't even attend funerals of our loved ones, you. Fucking car. Number 13, really expensive wallpaper. How much does a nurse earn? Okay, yes, spend that on my feature wall. That seems fair. Number 14, making incompetent decisions about COVID in the beginning. Boris alone. I think you made excellent decisions. Really? I would rather have had Timmy Mallet on ketamine being smashed in the face with a plank making decisions. Number 15, his PPE contracts. Yes, we're gonna need lots of masks and gloves. Hello, is that Ollie Barrington Brownlow Smythe? Yes, I was in the old um, fuck a goose in the mouth society with you. That's it, Rapey Bird Bumhole Club. Yeah, do you wanna supply some masks and I'll uh, give you a nice little backhander. Yeah, 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 I'm still shagging her. Actually, my wife's coming in. Number 16, cost of living crisis. I know that's a global problem, but still he was in charge when it kicked in and he was baking expensive wallpaper. Why don't we make that wall the price of a Nana's gas bill for a year? Oh, is it that much? Yeah, maybe not spend that much. Number 17, illegally suspending parliament. I'll just tell the queen uh, the truth. Yes, your majesty, yeah, it's totally illegal. Don't worry, Bance. <laughs> Opposing free school meals, there's no need to give the children of peasants free food. What was that? A trendy footballer thinks it's a good idea. Free food for all the children, Fwah! And last, but by no means least, making the United Kingdom look like total cunts to the rest of the world. <laughs> goodbye, Boris, goodbye. <laughs>